Who hey everybody, welcome back. I did the who at the start, not because I am pseudo Ric Flair. Oh, don't make me do this again. <laughs> but because we had a very exciting uh, run on our last episode of the Binding of Eyes Guide. Became Guppy. Oh, big surprise. Northern Lion becoming Guppy. We've come a long way, right? Previously, it was like I'd become Guppy like once every hundred episodes. Now it's actually become, it's become a more common thing, but it's still a very difficult thing to actually pull off reliably. That library is an interesting proposition that would probably be more interesting to me uh, if I actually had the opportunity to uh, do rerolls instead. Uh, you know what? It's still worth going to just because almost any of the books in there are going to be better than what I already have. Uh, Book of Sin is fine. Sure, one penny. Book of Belial is uh, outstanding, so we're going to roll with that for now. That's actually a pretty good pickup. I guess I shouldn't complain about finding a library. Um, yeah, we were playing as Isaac on the last run, so we are doing a, uh, a random run today. Playing as Blue Baby, and you know what? I can't complain about trading a key for Book of Belial, but apart from that, the standard caveats when it comes to Blue Baby do apply here, and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to you know, knock some of those out. There is a tinted rock on a room slightly adjacent to us. Uh, and getting x-ray vision is actually pretty good as well. Can I dare I say that somebody up there maybe likes me after the performance that was put on in the last episode? Not to say that I like, oh, pulled one out of my ass, the game tried to break me, but I still won. That's not, you know, like, faux machismo, that's not really what happened. Um, but I was in a position where it seemed pretty unlikely uh, for success to happen, and success did happen, so I feel good about that. Let's see what these pills are. Balls of Steel is an incredible one, and Health Up is also really good. And we'll please like small rock and a speed upgrade pill. Well, just one spirit heart is still pretty okay. Uh, so this is like the best floor I've ever had on the first floor as Blue Baby, I would probably say. We've eliminated a lot of our major opening concerns, which are typically, you know, lack of health, lack of damage, uh, not on our, you know, base damage, but Book of Belial helps us out a ton, as you can see right here. Um, and, you know, being able to find secret rooms for the remainder of the game is ex exceptionally nice, and we already have a key that we can use for the next floor as well. So, uh, that tier's upgrade is also way more valuable than just picking up a spirit heart by way of an HP upgrade, so... I would say this has gone extraordinarily well so far, and we might even be able to go to a shop on this floor. We might be able to go to an item room. We have a one-up, which is interesting. I will go to the curse room, um, and we'll get a spirit heart out of that. So that was a no-risk curse room. I wanted to see if maybe the item room is adjacent. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's bad. I mean, I, I guess the one-up can't possibly be bad, but... If I had the opportunity to re-roll it, I would have re-rolled a 1-up in this case, because something like even raw liver would have been fine, uh, but the ability to fly would have been amazing. Skeleton key, if that can even show up in, in uh, secret rooms, I always forget. Anyway, we're doing fine as Blue Baby right now. Again, all of our concerns, or at least most of our concerns that you typically have on a Blue Baby run, alleviated. Plus, the added addition of the X-ray vision, which will give me uh, a lot of opportunities to uh, improve myself and get extra money. Secret rooms have already been amazing, uh, or at least okay, and uh, yeah, maybe we can exhaust the secret room pool without even having rerolls. It's pretty unlikely, but uh, so far we're on a two for two pace, and we're doing a decent amount of damage just by way of getting that tiers upgrade. We're actually doing quite a number on these enemies, even with uh, only our base damage, which is awesome, and with Book of Belial, obviously, that's going to be even better, so... Uh, I apologize for everybody that wants Blue Baby runs to be awful. We might as well pick this up because it's basically just like picking up another spirit heart, but it's like a time release spirit heart. Um, sorry for everyone everyone that wants the start of Blue Baby runs to be awful and then get better as time goes on and you get like permanent polar invincibility, maybe Horror of Babylon or something like that. Um, but that's not the way that this is appearing to start. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but so far so good. I almost at this point would rather, um, as Blue Baby, not fight base bosses. I mean, obviously you have to fight some base bosses or, you know, vanilla bosses, but I'd rather just fight like Horsemen of the Apocalypse, guarantee myself some, some cubes of meat and some orbitals, uh, because I really, like, HP upgrades are just not that interesting to me. Of course we're gonna get some because you have to get some, but, um, you know, if I could just move those over to a run where I maybe would want them more. Guppy's Tail is a little interesting, and Brother Bobby is not at all. For three spirit hearts, neither of those items are really worth it. If it was... No. I was like, if it was Guppy's what, would I have taken it? No, there's no Guppy item that is better than Guppy's tail for me right now. Nine lives is substantially worse. Uh, Guppy's head is way worse than Book of Belial. And Guppy's tail... or Sorry, Guppy's paw doesn't apply as Blue Baby. So, basically, we... Uh, we got the best Guppy item we could hope to get, but it was still too expensive. So I would put aside concerns of me becoming Guppy. In all likelihood, that is a mere outside possibility on this run. Yes, I remember that there is a bomb back there. Just trying to stay fresh. Trying to, trying to keep my forward momentum up because we are very strong right now. And I spent so much time on that last run 
hoping to eventually be strong, and it didn't happen until the very end, at which point we became very strong. It was like a very much like a... I, I want to have like a roller coaster where it slowly pulls you up and then you get to have a decent amount of fun. What we had was like a, a space shuttle launch, where it's basically just like, all right, in you know 90 seconds we're going to be out of the atmosphere. You're going to be on the ground and then from zero to you know a trillion very, very quickly. Uh, we got a range upgrade in our item room. It's the kind of item that's, it, it almost feels like it's not even worth the key that I spent. Uh, but we got another key back for a bomb here, which is actually an okay trade. Uh, at this point, you know, if you have low numbers of each, a key is way better than a bomb. We are not going to be going to the shop because we don't have the money to justify it. And we're going to pick up one more bomb when we leave. So, not the best uh, second floor. Not as good as our first floor, but pretty good nonetheless. We're going to end up leaving with a two-spirit heart, a uh, positive differential, and a range upgrade, and a, a one-up. I think that's about it. The eternal heart is just going to turn into another spirit heart, so I, I counted that in the an earlier balance. Still, that's all right. Uh, we're doing fine. We have enough keys to continue to scale into the next floor, presumably, and we're still substantially stronger than we should be by this point in the game, if that makes sense. We, we would normally expect to be at this point in the game. So, uh, for one bomb, our last bomb, we can get seven cents here, which makes the shop almost viable to the point where I actually am going to use a key to open it. And notched axe is in here, which is garbage. Um, we might not actually end up buying anything in there, and that's unfortunate because I, I spent a, a pretty valuable key and technically a bomb, but we can use that money later. That key, I, I, there's no refund or no long-term investment there. Uh, we spent a pretty valuable bomb trying to get it, or a pretty valuable key, whatever. Anyway, um... So, I, I could, I saw there was a spirit heart in there, but there's no point in paying five cents for a spirit heart just yet, probably. Uh, similarly, there's a bomb in there, but why pay five cents for a bomb? I'm just gonna use that bomb to get a spirit heart. Stigmata! Damage plus health plus something, so that's uh, an exceptionally good pickup for us, I think. People always tell me that, you know, it, I, I, it says tears up and then I pick it up and I'm like, oh, it's a tears upgrade, and then people in the chat are like, how can you be so stupid as to take the game literally? It's actually a shot speed upgrade and it gives you plus .069 to the speed of your shots when you're in, like, a two-tile radius of an enemy. I'm like, oh, sorry, I guess that's obvious. So, I don't know, maybe Stigmata is actually, like, it saves you money on your car insurance. But all I'm saying is that's what it says on the card is, uh, damage plus health plus something. So, I'm gonna assume that, that I'm gonna take that at face value. I apologize for that, but sure. I don't even think there's any point in picking up Teleport, to be honest with you. I may or may not go back for some of those spirit hearts. We have Book of Bly already, so I'm just gonna fight, uh... I'm gonna fight Chubb with that. I do have the speed necessary to get around Chubb fairly easily, but I can't leave it till the last minute. I've really gotta be on top of that, so... I mean, as you can see, so far so good. It's going very well. Again, not an HP upgrade is, uh, pretty much the best item we could get here. Although there are items that are certainly worse than getting just a mere HP upgrade here. Um, I, especially since I lost a Spirit Heart. But Spirit Hearts are, so far, fairly easy to come by. Damage and Tears upgrades, not so much. So, a Squeezy would be awesome. It's just an HP upgrade. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna use this as a portal to move on. I guess maybe I should spend one bomb for one Spirit Heart. It's not the worst trade. Bombs are probably easier to come by than Spirit Hearts. I could go buy another bomb if I wanted to for five cents, but I kinda wanna save my money for a future shop. If there's a key in there, I should probably go buy that key, even though I, again, do want to save my money for a future shop. Um, been to both secret rooms, there could be a library over here, but there's not, but that's okay too. So I'm hoping that maybe we start getting deals with the angel, because a miter or relic would be huge. Or more deals with the devil, even because we have the kind of base of health that is, uh, you know, necessary to support that. And we're leaving this floor again with some decent improvements, but certainly we're, uh, we're scaling just a little bit faster than the actual game is. I don't think it's worth buying another Spirit Heart. The the, the health, or sorry, the, the pill is interesting to me, but I don't remember what that pill is. It could be a health up, so it could be a little bit of a cheaper of a Spirit Heart, but, you know, again, it's not that big of a deal. So, I say we go down to the Catacombs Part 2. It's actually Caves Part 2, much to my appreciation. What's the opposite of chagrin? Much to my pleasant surprise? That sounds a little bit, a little bit awkward, doesn't it? Much to my pleasant surprise? Chagrin is so elegant. Much, much to my chagrin. It's basically like, surprise end, oh fuck. But there needs to be a surprise and like, oh, fuck, that's pretty good. Um, so get on that English language. Where you been for the past, you know, 1500 years? I don't know if that is correct, but whatever. Um, 
Killin' Larry Jr. did uh, put some decent thought into the idea of using Book of Belial on this room, but it's unnecessary. Might end up being more necessary on a future room. Now, bomb to open up that chest seems fairly realistic or reasonable, but I'm not going to do it, and the reason behind that is because I may encounter a Tinted Rock, and a Tinted Rock is a more valuable use of my limited bomb resources when I'm playing as Blue Baby. We can get a damage upgrade, we can get keys, uh, and we can get uh, Spirit Hearts, all of which are extremely valuable. Would have been awesome if a key dropped there. Now that we have two bombs, we'll probably open up this... Uh, this uh, chest. I mean, that can still give us exactly the same things that I said, but it's just less likely to. So, well, we got three bombs for the cost of one bomb, so at the very least we got a, a good deal. Could have been better, but we got a good deal, and uh, we have a number of fortune tellers, all of which are actually pretty useful to me as Blue Baby. You know, trinkets are, are always important if you can get good ones. If, otherwise, they're a non-issue, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, being able to generate spirit hearts is always very nice, and the crystal ball would be one of the very few items that would probably make me consider getting rid of Book of Belial, although it would still maybe be a long shot. Justice will give us a key. Oh, come on! Alright, we still got out of the way. Justice gave us a key, which means I'm gonna use that on the shop. At this point, I'm trying to imagine what item I would actually buy in there. Compass and map are no-brainers. Super Greed is also a no-brainer, uh, so I will make him buy something. I'll make him buy the farm. That's an old ish phrase that means basically I'm gonna kill him or he died um, but I'm gonna be the one who makes him buy the farm I'm gonna be the real for selling farms and he's gonna buy one bought the farm always seemed to be a weird like a uh, uh, idiom to me it's not really an idiom but you know what I mean um, he, he bought the farm is like he died it sounds like you know that's good for him he bought the farm go retire man that's a lot of people's dream get out of the city grind and go into the country I would go batshit crazy and uh, end up being in one of those like deliverance style movies uh, because I would be bored to, to tears, but if you if your idea of a great life is to be a, a quaint farmer You know producing food for the the nation to survive on by all means enjoy that I don't I'm not gonna do something dickish like imply that that's the end of your natural life Maybe there's something it probably comes from something that actually provides some logic, but I prefer my explanation because uh, I'm just an asshole like that. So the library is an interesting proposition. Uh, yes, I will absolutely take a health uphill. The library is an interesting proposition, and I say that because there's a very good chance that there would be a book of uh, revelations in there. But do I prefer revelations or Belial? I prefer the book of Belial. Do I prefer book of Belial or the unicorn horn? That's a no-brainer. At least I wish I'd now I'd seen inside of the uh, inside of the library to at least get the spirit heart and guarantee myself an orbital. But whatever. If we get another key, we may or may not open this library. As of right now, this floor has been okay, I suppose. Uh, hopefully we can end up getting a second secret room that provides us with a good trinket or something. It, giving us the Polaroid early would be huge. Otherwise, I'm hoping for an angel room from our boss fight and uh, any, like a squeezy would be amazing. A squeezy that gives us basically two HP upgrades in addition to improving ourselves uh, our tier-wise. A crate would be great. Uh, but we, we have to, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. We don't really have too much control over it. We're not in a game-winning position, but we're not in a bad position at all. We're in a very good position, I think, for where we stand as Blue Baby. That'll change maybe when we, uh, if we go down to Necropolis next, then we'll really see how we shake up against the harder floors of the game. But, uh, for now, I'm having a very leisurely time, not losing very much health at all, despite the fact that my damage is not exceptional, uh, and my rate of fire is not exceptional. My health is actually pretty exceptional for this point in the game. And we get a red chest, which is Guppy's Tail. Sure, we got it for free. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. Um, no more keys, so I guess that means we go down into the fistula fight. So I guess we can give up the ghost on getting uh, cubes of meat anytime in the near future. That's technically not true, because we could get one as early as the next floor, but, you know, bear with me here as I provide a little bit of flavor text as I fight the same boss I have fought hundreds of times before in the past. This is not going to be a, a difficult fight at all, and I like these boss fights because they actually get a little easier as time goes on. Which means I am almost guaranteed to take damage after I've said that and gotten a little bit cocky. So, with you dead, we get a range upgrade and a deal with the devil, which I almost hope at this point is just Krampus. It's not, uh, but we get a nail. Uh, this is a weird one. Obviously, I would be able to generate spirit hearts with the nail, and it would give me occasionally better damage, but it's once every six rooms versus Book of Belial's once every three rooms. I think I'm actually gonna forego the nail, because Book of Belial has been so good to me. And we only have two shops remaining, but if we get better damage, then I would love to have the nail instead of the... Fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna keep our spirit hearts, and we're gonna go with um, what we have already. That may be a terrible decision. If I'd already managed to get the battery 9-volt or nun's habit, I uh, almost certainly would have gone with the nail. If a battery 9-volt nun's habit shows up, the nail becomes a, uh, 
you know, the one that got away to some extent. But, uh, Book of Belial has been very good to me. It, it's alleviated the one concern I have with this run as of right now, which is not having very much damage. And I, I owe it a lot for that. I also need some keys, but that's a, an issue that is unrelated to the Book of Belial, which again, I have the utmost respect for, uh, given its position and its help for me recently. I definitely should not have taken damage there. I feel like I'm kind of in the groove from a dodging standpoint, which means I'm, I'm due for, uh, some hubris check. If I could do, hubris check sounds like the, the most German word of all time. Um, I am probably just, I'm looking for an opening. We're going to put a bomb in there. I baited like four zombies into getting into the range, and we still took out two. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, the nail decision is one that could come back and bite me in the ass, but I don't think it will. It was a, oh, balls of steel, so good. It was a pretty tall ask, you know, like three HP upgrades, basically, uh, to be able to get the nail is a lot. It's, it's a lot to ask. It's more than one HP upgrade, which is what you typically get if you are, um, oh, Jesus. If you're, uh, you know, running on regular hearts instead of spirit hearts. Please tell me one more of you died in that process. I think one did. Um, well, I can't really get to that. I did, I have taken some damage, but it hasn't been staggeringly bad damage. I don't feel bad about it. I really want to kill that laser bullet fly. There we go. And then we'll kill this laser bullet fly. And we're good. Okay, so, I mean, like, sincerely, damage and tears upgrades are what we're looking for right now. If the deal with the devil could just offer me the fucking pact, or the mark even, I would take either of those in a heartbeat. Those are, like, top-tier blue baby items, I think. I did uh, think about picking up Spirit of the Night, by the way. That's kind of something I haven't mentioned yet, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I thought about it. Um, it was kind of overshadowed a little bit, I think, by... Uh, my, my choice whether or not to pick up the nail because the nail is such like a blue baby You know typical item if that makes sense it allows you to generate spirit hearts The other thing by not picking up the deal with the devil is I have given myself a slightly increased chance I think of getting a deal with the angel that could mean uh, Miter and relic for free which is better than paying three hearts for the nail in fact like the nail is kind of shitty the, the only thing that's great about it is that um, you know it does get extra synergy from stuff like uh, uh, nun, nuns have a 9 volt, etc, etc. Uh, the relic gives you a spirit heart once every 4 rooms instead of a spirit heart once every 6 rooms. So that just seems like an easy decision to me. And the miter is a little bit more unpredictable, I think, but it, it's still reliable nonetheless. Alright, so we actually are getting a cube of meat because I, I goaded the troll engine into saying that I wouldn't get one. This is fine. Um, you know, I would rather get a pretty fly, basically, which is what a cube of meat is. Pretty fly with some upside potential in the future, uh, instead of getting another HP upgrade that I, at this point, and it's kind of, it's overkill. Uh, our HP is fine. Not that an HP upgrade is bad, it's just not as good as basically anything else. So, I have taken some fairly awful damage. That was worse, but um, some fairly awful damage over the course of this fight that I probably should not have. Would I be better off with the nail? Maybe, maybe not. It's the other thing is that the nail does give you a damage buff, but it's not a very good one, I think. Maybe it gives you max damage. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just saying. Uh, I feel like Book of Belial gives better damage, and if it doesn't, well, it gives it twice as much, so I can at least fabricate some way in which I am correct here. With zero keys, we're in a bit of a tight spot. That is a chest which is looking extremely tempting. The more that I realize that I have zero keys, I could use a bomb to maybe try to dislodge it. We'll talk about those desperation plays as we get a little further along. That's judgment. That is big. Uh, we're gonna put this bomb like here. This should get both of those rocks. And with 36 cents, judgment is an easy play. Please don't pay out with an HP upgrade. Pay out with a compass or something along those lines. Uh, you pay out whenever you want also. Like, take forever. There's one key that's good. A second key would be amazing. Ah, okay. So we paid him six cents, I think. And he gave us, uh, or nine cents. And he gave us a, uh, a key and uh, a spirit heart. Pretty okay trade. Nope, but then I lost half of that uh, spirit heart payout already. Please, 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 please explode. Oh, God. Okay. And, okay. I'm looking forward to this champion dropping a key. Ah, two bombs. That's fine, too. We can use those to possibly get a key a little bit later. We still need to look for our item room. And, uh, what's better? Item room or shop? Probably shop at this point. So I, I should just find the item room and then kind of backtrack. Which is going to cost me a little bit of time, which is unnecessary, but whatever. See if we get something for this. Hey, we got a second key. Okay, now we can enter the item room guild free. We got Guppy's Paw, which is not a good item for us as Blue Baby, but is an item that gives us a chance to become Guppy. And I know what you're thinking. Ryan, you said there's no chance of you becoming Guppy on this run. Ignore what I said earlier. It actually seems that the game uh, wants me to become Guppy. How can you blame me for this one? 
I saw Guppy's tail, and I said, no, no, no. And then I, it showed up later, and it was like, yes, yes, yes. Do you want me to not pick up Guppy's tail? Do you want me to not pick up a free Guppy's head? Or, you know, Guppy's um, paw, which we just did. That is, like, the best curse room of all time. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it. I have, to, I have to. If I become Guppy, even better. I know some people will be pissed, but have mercy on me this time. I didn't have any control over this one. All right. One bomb here. Three, ah, two zombies dead. It's still pretty good. I'll take it. It means I don't have to use Book of Belial in this room unless I want to. And now, uh, now that things have gone a little awry, I kind of want to. Thank God we got some health back, because I was, uh, losing a lot for a while there and not feeling very good about myself. The police have come to take me away. Hey, I heard you took Guppy when you said you wouldn't take Guppy. Not cool, bro. What's next? Picking up Brimstone? All right, well, we got Demon Judgment. Demon Judgment's fine. We're going to take ourselves back to the shop-like area. Might as well do some more exploration first. Maybe there's uh, something that I would rather spend a key on. Or some Tinted Rocks, which is probably more likely. There's a fairly good chance that we could become Guppy now, you know? There's a lot of game left. Um, and if I do and you don't like that, I apologize. But again, I didn't actively pursue Guppy. I didn't choose the cat life. The cat life chose me this time. Uh, also, neither of those Guppy items are useful outside of becoming Guppy for me personally, right now at least. Okay, good. I'm, I'm happy we're fighting Sloth. Uh, you know, it might seem tempting to use a uh, Book of Belial charge on him, but I'd actually rather save it in case we end up with a difficult room on uh, Necropolis if we go to Necropolis next, because Sloth is an easy enough fight. Tarot card for us. Tarot card ends up being the Hanged Man, which actually allows us to get that treasure chest up there for free, which may allow us to get some keys. Uh, or I could use it here and just get a bomb, but I think it's better to use it on the treasure chest. So again, this floor has been pretty good. We're going to Hanged Man here, and we got a bomb for it. So that's basically we got a bomb and a scent instead of just a, a bomb. And we get a map. I will buy the map, even though it might seem foolish to buy the map. Why would you buy the map? You already have x-ray goggles. Yeah, but this allows me to see like where dead ends might be coming from. We'll buy a spirit heart, because we're getting to that point in the game where you want to buy spirit hearts, I think at least. And then, oh, right, I can't fly forever. But we're only one guppy item away from making it happen. Is there a bomb here I can get? Yeah, if I can fly. There's a lot of opportunities to snag one free bomb on this floor. I am going to take a sip of this water as we go down to the next floor. Throat's feeling a little bit parched. We are on an, uh, a vanilla floor, not a Wrath of the Lamb, like harder analog, which is nice. I didn't even really mention it, but, you know, earlier we picked up Demon Baby, one of the better familiars. Some people would probably argue the best familiar. I don't necessarily agree with that. We got the Onk as well. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I think it's fine. This is our shop. That's a, an important moment for us to think about in the future. We did at least manage to hit Chubb with that. What's more valuable at this point, bombs or Book of Belial charges? Neither, to some extent. Like, at least on this room, I should just be able to kill Chubb without using either of those. Uh, I've already used one bomb. I think that's like basically where I, where I want to be from a cost standpoint. Minimize the risk of taking damage by using one bomb. Maximize the item efficiency by only using one bomb and not using anything else. So, key drop would be amazing here. Doubt it'll happen, but yeah. We'll probably pick up at least one on this floor. If we don't, that sucks. Now this room is a little bit more tempting for me to actually use Book of Belial, believe it or not. There we go, I've already taken one damage. Let's do some analysis here. Probably would not have taken that damage if I'd used Book of Belial. Might have, though. Ah, we did okay. Alright, so the shop, we don't have 15 cents. We'll probably fight Greed anyway, though. No. And there's a ladder. And a pill, but a ladder as well. Um, if that could be a Balls of Steel pill, so it might be worth buying. I think we've seen that pill before. Have I purchased that pill before, though? I don't know. Ladder's just not worth it, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll pick up the pill instead. It's something. It's a Tears A! Okay, so I wish I bought that earlier. Because the Tears upgrade would actually be really useful for me. Especially since I'm about to become Guppy, that I can, you know, generate flies more quickly. Uh, I'm just, I'm half joking, but also 100% hopeful that we actually will become Guppy. Even though it goes against my word from earlier, um, it, it's still funny and also would give me a much better chance of winning. And I never turn down a chance to become Guppy if it's, like, thrown in my face. Just because, why would I? Okay, well, one of these is a Tears upgrade. Uh, Guppy's a lot of fun. The other one was a Telepills, which took me into a room that was right next door. So that's something, but uh, I will just use Book of Belial, and this will be an easy one. We got a penny from the champion, which is pretty terrible in terms of champion payouts, but that's fine. And one bomb to open this chest. We need one more key so we can go to the item room. Hopefully we find it here. We do not, but we found a decent amount of money. This is our item room. I'm glad, because it means less backtracking. If we found the uh, boss room, it might have been a little bit more of a, a hassle, but still probably we'd be okay. And we're doing fine here again. 
Uh, we have a second secret room left. Uh, I don't want to trinket at this point. An eternal heart is almost the best thing that we could get there. Uh, or I guess our second secret room could also give us a guppy item, which would be amazing. The only thing I'm worried about is like, what if nine lives is the guppy item? Can I turn it down? If it's Guppy's head, it's a no-brainer. We pick it up, put it back down, up to sundown, see where the bad guys are to be found, and make them lay down. The pretender, the defenders of the West, crushing all pretenders in the West. Don't mess with us, because we're in the wild, wild West. Um, three keys. That's pretty good. We three keys of Orient are. We're going to open this, because we're here. That gave us another key and another bomb. Who's laughing now, motherfucker? Don't open that. It's probably bad. It was okay. Relax. Have some crackers. I... This is the grocery store yesterday, and I had a hankering uh, because they were on sale for those crackers that I used to have in my lunches when I was a kid. Oh, comic. Okay, I know people were like, Kamikaze is blue baby. It's really good. You should pick it up. No, I'm not going. I'll pick it up. I'll put it back down, though. Um, I know there's a glitch that you can use with it as well. People are always like, use the Kamikaze glitch. And then they're, when I use Brim Snap, they're like, oh, don't Brim Snap. It takes away the integrity of the game. Use the, by the way, use the glitch that causes you to not take damage, but you can use yourself as a bomb that explodes enemies, and it's really cool. Anyway, uh, those crackers that you'd get as a kid, and it would come with, like, the spreadable cheese, which was, like, gross, obviously, in, in hindsight, but I had a hankery for those, you know, the red stick. And, uh, I was eating one, and then I looked at the package, and the package has the cracker, the, the, the titular, uh, snackable in question. He is dipping himself in the cheese mixture, I don't know if they can legally call it cheese, but in the cheese product. And uh, he's spreading the cheese on himself with the red stick. And he's got this big smile on his face, but I can't help but feel it's pretty fucked up, right? He's like, I'm making myself pretty for you, master. Are you going to eat me? You're going to enjoy this? And I'm like, man. That was not like a slave master type thing as well. That was more like a, like a BDSM style master slave relationship. Not like a, you know, Django Unchained master slave relationship. Uh, and I thought it was pretty fucked up because I was like, man, that guy's like basically preparing himself to be eaten. That's the most fucked up torture you could ever give somebody. Anyway, let's see what we've got in this red chest. That is a spirit heart. We've had very good luck with curse rooms and red chests so far. Which is a uh, new song from my uh, post hardcore band. Anyway, we're going to cut up these uh, fistulae here. Fistulae, fistulissus, fistulon. Anyway, you know, again, forgive me. It's the 3,000th time I have fought blue fistula. Forgive me for taking damage as well, because that makes me feel like an idiot now. Uh, but we should have our boss room right here. Oh, the sneeze of the century is coming on. Coming this Friday. Sinuses are tickled. Probably could have done that better. Oh well, uh, please bombs, that's what I was not going to ask for, but that's okay. So, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to see if we can get that guppy item, but, you know, it, it happened to us late on the last episode, it can still happen to us late on this episode. It's so weird to me that I set out, like, not specifically not to become guppy, but I was like, okay, I've given up the ghost on this whole guppy thing, and then the game was just like, nope, here you go, have some, uh, have some cat items that offer you literally no use, unless they offer you a great use a little bit later. All right, so I hate that uh, alternate enemy. Alternate enemy is the band that's uh, coming out with that album that I mentioned earlier that I forgot the name of because all commentary is purged from my brain. You know, less than a, a thought's length after being sent to my, uh, you know, mouth nerves. Mouth nerves is gonna be our uh, our first single. Why do I stand in the middle every time I do that? At least we got the crate. The crate's good. Uh, I really hope that that was a Joker card, but it wasn't. This pill is range up. That's not something we necessarily need, but it's fine, and yeah, this went pretty well. I'm not taking the Two of Hearts card with me. We have a map. We have a, uh, a we don't have a compass. We have a map. We have x-ray goggles. Okay, so those are our two navigatory techniques. Navigation. Navigatability techniques. Uh, that's fine. We're going to focus on finding secret rooms, and uh, after finding secret rooms, we're going to focus on, yeah, that's a good idea. Just go stand in the center, like the intersection point for every single one of those worms. I saw it coming too, but I was like, if I move before, I'll get hit. Well, if I didn't move, I was 100% guaranteed to get hit. Oh god, blow the bombs. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Little scary. Pull it back. Hey, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, we are not doing fantastically from a health standpoint. You know what? I'll fight greed. I don't care. Maybe I won't, because there's no point. I'll just take damage. Uh, I will definitely use Book of Belial here. I'll come back and get another Book of Belial charge on Greed if necessary. Uh, but these hearts, I, it's, it's telling how much respect I give these hearts. I would rather use Book of Belial for them than on a mini boss like Greed. But you're dead, and that's great. 
This is not the boss, which is like, you know, half positive, half negative. Mostly negative, but at least I, I will for sure get a Book of Belial charge before the boss now. Unless I really bung it up, and then I won't be able to actually generate a new one. So, uh, I, I am kind of on the lookout for a curse room as well. Like, if possible, it would be awesome to go to a curse room, even though it would cost me two spirit hearts, which is scary, but I could become guppy. And if it has nine lives, well, you know, that's that's a bridge that is crossed when encountered. Uh, we have a couple more... Okay, we have a couple more rooms down here until we figure out... <clears throat> pardon me. What is uh, in that terminus. If it's just the boss, we'll probably just go through with it, because... I could still get a deal with the devil and get a guppy item. Although, again, nine lives scares the shit out of me. Guppy's head would be so much better. Alright, well, we broke even on that room. Surprising incidents of, of that happening as well. Of, like, situations where I'm like, Oh, I got hit! And then the game's like, Well, here, have a spirit heart. It wasn't really fair what we did to you. Alright, a little bit more money. And a fortune... Uh, no, no, not a fortune teller. It is a uh, blood bank. Fighting death! Uh, not my favorite boss to fight here, especially this variation who creates these asshole flies. But, uh, it's certainly a hell of a lot better than fighting Conquest, which is what happens here with surprising regularity. Oh, uh, okay, got out of there without getting hit, much to my surprise. You're gonna create your zombie horse soon, and I am gonna tackle the shit out of you. Here we go, okay, survived it again. Come on, come on, come on, there we go, horse has been created. What does he create, just exclusively bomb flies from this point onwards? No, weird red-headed uh, laser bullet man. That's fine. Oh, and uh, that guy who I just said I hated. Usually don't see more than one of them per run, so uh, that's a little unusual. It's fine, though. Death should be dead. Good. And now we focus on the horse. That went well. We got a second cube of meat, but no deal with the devil. Much to my chagrin. That time, l legitimate chagrin. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for the curse room. It's, a, it's extremely cost prohibitive. But... It also provides me with the potential to create a run more powerful than you've ever seen before since the last episode. Like, two spirit hearts to become Guppy is a no-brainer trade, even though I can't generate my own spirit hearts. That being said, two spirit hearts to get nothing is a terrible trade. Yeah, we'll go through with this. That's fine. I'm glad I opened it. It's still going to be annoying to fight all these bosses, but we ended up getting a good payout from this. And it makes me feel like I can open the other uh, golden chest guilt-free, which, you know, maybe that has a good space bar item in it or something. And we, we do fight uh, three bosses here. Okay, so there we go. Eat that. Probably because I have 21 bombs now, I'm willing to give you uh, one last taste of explosive justice here. Explosive justice is the name of the TV show that I'm trying to parlay my music career into. Double Monstro all the way across the sky is not so bad. Man. This is like a... Allow me to detail how the segue is going to go down. Uh, have you seen the, the film with uh, Jennifer Aniston and Jason Sudeikis? We're the Millers. Uh, if you haven't, I would encourage you to go back in time about two weeks and take a flight anywhere. Because that is... Oh, this one's open. This one. God damn it. Um, that's been like the movie... In-flight movie of choice. Across the con across the continent, I guess. I haven't flown overseas in, in January. But, um, so I was flying to my, my ancestral home for the Christmas vacations, flying Air Canada. And everybody, Air, Air Canada offers a selection of movies that you can peruse on your touch screen. Everyone was watching uh, We're the Millers. It has a scene at the start where, the, like, double rainbow is, like, what opens the movie. Because the guy's watching videos on his computer. Um, everyone was watching We're the Millers. And I was like, really? I'll never watch that. Then on the flight back, this is the same. I was, like, looking forward to some new movies because the month rolled over. Nope, same movies, okay? We're the Millers still there, still not gonna watch it. I'll, rat I'll watch Ratatouille, I've never seen it, it was beautiful. That thing about the critics at the end, it really resonated with me, man. As critics, you risk nothing. As creators, you risk everything. That's some deep shit for a kid's movie, right? Got me a little bit choked up. Uh, I can't believe there's nothing over here, by the way. Then, I'm flying to Paradox, you mentioned. I'm flying, um... Who the hell was I flying on the way there? I was flying on American Airlines. And, uh, in flight movie? They didn't have a touch screen. It was uh, Runner Runner starring Justin Timberlake and Ben Affleck. And I was like, shit, man, I wish they really had to meet the Millers or were the Millers. I'd love to finally see that. At least Jennifer Aniston takes her shirt off. But anyway, we watched Runner Runner. It was okay. Then on the flight back, I was flying with United. In flight movie, we're the Millers. So, you know, big ups to the marketing team at uh, Alliance Atlantis or whoever the fuck is distributing. We're the Millers. You have made your film unavoidable for anyone who has traveled 35,000 feet in the sky in the past month. 
And also, please go fuck yourself, because, well, okay, that, that's a mean thing to say. I didn't really like it, though. <laughs> that's what I mean to say, is, I didn't really, I didn't enjoy it that much, but, you know, don't go fuck yourself. I'm sure a lot of people put, like, the, the script writer, maybe you, like, go fuck yourself just a little bit, but if you, like, did catering on the film, I'm sure they were well-fed, so, like, don't feel bad about that. And, like, the camera work was absolutely workmanlike, so, you know, no, no offense meant there, but everyone involved in actually producing the, the content of the film on a very overt basis, uh, you know, still have a wonderful life, but, but please work on improving. Uh, or, or don't! Maybe I'm just one shithead and that movie was beloved by everybody else, but sincerely, um, we need to have a conversation. You can tweet me, I'll respond to it. Uh, I'm, I'm good about responding to it. Uh, but only if you're a top build actor. If you're, like, the, the kid in the movie, then, you know, I'll wait until you get, like, nominated for a Best Supporting Oscar or something like that. Like, because my time is pretty important, so... I don't really want to, to waste it on, uh, somebody who may or may not become the next Leonardo DiCaprio. I wanted more, like, a 60% like a DiCaprio chance. A 60% chance of DiCapriation happening. And that's just business, kid. You'll, you'll figure it out. What the fuck am I talking about? Joker? Two of spades. Alright, well, we'll double our keys. That's fine. Opens up a huge supply of golden chests that I can draw from. Please tell me that this golden chest... Can you imagine if this golden chest... Or not golden chest, but second secret room contains Guppy's head. Can you imagine how angry and glorious and, and righteous people will be and I will be and the fun that will be had as a result? Inside of this is a red chest which contains flies. You had a little bit of a heart palpitation for a second there. I could feel it through the dimensions of time and space. I know what you're thinking. You're like, shit, he's really gonna do it. We'll see, man. We we don't have a deal with the devil chance anymore, so it's all fucking curse rooms and, and handy cams now. Uh... Sure, that penny is basically worthless for us right now. Or maybe not, who knows? I can't see the future. Since we're fighting uh, at this uh, dead end, I, I can say with relative certainty that this Book of Belial charge is not going to prevent me from using Book of Belial against the boss. Starting to run out of health a little bit. Know what you're thinking. Hey, dumbass, really wish you took the nail. That's probably true. I don't know, Book of Belial's been very good, but... And we haven't gotten anything that would augment the nail to make it more than one spirit heart for every six rooms. Oh, man, that's a lot of keys. Probably should have saved the two of spades, but it's the kind of thing that at this point probably won't matter too much. But, um, anyway. It wasn't that long ago. Actually, it was kind of a long time. It was like two years ago now. That the nail was the item, believe it or not, that people railed against in my videos. They're like, Northern Lion, we gotta have, to have a talk, man. You really pick up the nail too often. And it was, it was kind of like it was before Wrath of the Lamb, so the items that were in Vanilla Isaac showed up with a little bit more frequency. And the nail seemed to show up a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And I would always use it, and I'd be like, well... Pretty easy to win when you have the nail. It was like the most overpowered item in my opinion. I probably said something stupid like it's the most powerful item in the game more than once. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's funny how things change. And I love that Isaac still has, yeah, you know, this is totally worth it because I'll just walk out of the room. Fuck you, Loki. Um, it's funny because uh, Isaac's this single player game, but it has this evolving weird single player meta. Uh, part of that is the release of Wrath of the Lamb changed the way that items kind of feel. So might as well pick up the Eternal Heart. But uh, part of it is just like items fall into and out of favor. And I think that's super neat that a single player game uh, that seems non competitive has actually spawned like a, a changing atmosphere with respect to its items. That's, that's stupid and hilarious. And I love it. Sure, thanks for the lover's card, buddy. Uh, you can go fuck yourself along with the uh, top build stars and writers and director of uh, We're the Millers. Spoilers, they're not actually the Millers. So if I could just. Uh Continue to play you and maybe get some good tarot cards. The Fool is potentially useful in circumstances where I wouldn't want to go to a curse room. And we picked up another Spirit Heart. So we actually have picked up a decent amount of health on this floor. And we're going to be fighting Mom's Heart, which is an easy boss fight, right? Like, that's not a... That's not going to be a tall order. Might as well just walk him over here and get him killed. But, do we have any chance on the Cathedral? Yeah, but it's a small one. With only one orbital and not a staggering amount of damage, we've got a, a, a tall ask in front of us for uh, actually being able to win on this run. Obviously, I should be using the Belial and probably should have launched it much faster. This is Monstro. Monstro's gonna explode. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. He'll probably die before he jumps then. Ooh, it's pretty close. He did like a jump and a quarter. I probably would have lost on the spread on that one. Zombies are done. All right, get the bomb in there. These are not homing bombs. Demon Judgment, or sorry, Demon Baby has just been very good about uh, not firing my bombs too far away, actually keeping them basically in exactly the right vicinity. I don't want to kill Duke of Flies. I want Duke of Flies to live so we don't have to deal with laser bullet flies spawning. And that's exactly how that shit went down. All right, up to the cathedral. 
I, I would be lying if I said I didn't expect to make it this far, but I'm glad that we did. Nonetheless, there were times when we could have lost it, but the game has been pretty lenient so far. Oh, there's our second secret room, so I'm just like exploring as much as I can. Uh, yeah, sure, why not, right? Uh, just to see if maybe we get lucky and find uh, a curse room or something that I can walk into without fighting many enemies. I'm gonna guess that the boss room is over there in the, the very bottom part of the screen. Bottom right. Uh, or sorry, bottom middle, I guess. But we have to go to the bottom right to get there. Uh, it's gonna be uh, a long slog. I need, I basically, like, because of the rate at which we're firing and the little damage that we're doing, although we will have a book of Belial charge, god willing, um, I am, uh, you know, I, I want to have basically this much health, is what I'm getting at. I, I want to be basically exactly where we are right now. I want to have exactly the same number of bombs that we have right now. More is better, and, you know, we might come across some golden chests that give us some advantages on the way there. We might come across a curse room, although, now that I look at it, the only place for a curse room to be in all likelihood is uh, right next to the boss room. We're like in the same vicinity as the boss room. There's a golden chest. That's a key and a bomb. Sure, that's something. And I don't give us a, a very good chance of winning this run. But I also don't think it's exceptionally unlikely. I think it's worth trying to get this pill. I don't know what it is. Turns out it was not worth trying to get that pill. I thought it might be balls of steel though. I know we have balls of steel in our rotation, so I figured why not? Who dares wins? Two spirit arts is better than zero. And this is an extremely easy room, as you can tell. Might as well just take out one nub before we take out the boss. And a mob trap room, which gives us jack shit. Fair enough. Actually, there's a couple of possible locations for mob trap rooms now that I look at it. Uh, okay, probably should not have taken damage there, but I should have used Book of Bilal earlier, because in, in one invincibility, we should be able to take out one... Oh, shit. Okay, this is where things come off the rails a little bit. One thing's for sure, I have no excuse to take damage against one bicycle helmet. Come on. A couple more hits? No, you're good. Okay, this is a, a non-Book of Bilal room, but you do have to be a little bit cautious. Chain reaction is a, nothing to fuck with. This is Balls of Steel. Balls of Steel could save me right now. It's a health up. It's very similar. It's half of a Balls of Steel. Okay. Just keep moving. Stay far enough away. I've gotten about 69 range advantages over the course of this, so I should be able to kind of use that to my, uh... Yeah, okay. You'll fuck yourself as well. You, I got a whole big pile of people that can go fuck themselves at the end of this video. You, Jennifer Aniston, Jason Sudeikis, muscly man with an eye patch. David Goyer, I don't know if he was actually involved, but, you know, we'll just include him just for the sake of it. Lance Armstrong, we have a long-standing dispute regarding Sheryl Crow. Sheryl Crow, we have a long-standing dispute regarding Soak Up the Sun. Um, we're gonna make it to the boss fight. That, that much appears to be, um, I'm actually gonna drop a bomb right here? Oh, jeez, oh, you made me look like an asshole, Daddy Longlegs. The reason I did that was specifically so I could hit him more easily, but then he just ended up crushing the rocks himself. Uh, and there's no point in me using Book of Belial. Well, there's a point, but there's no good reason for me to use Book of Belial here because uh, we're gonna have to use it for the boss room or want to use it for the boss room right away. And it'll be better used there. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm pretty sure I'm more or less fucked, but um, we'll see. Daddy Longlegs is dead. Spirit Arts, please. Pills, Spirit Arts, okay. Curse Room. Demon Judgment. That's a funny joke. Alright, so we are gonna go fight uh, Isaac. This may be where we see this run sunder a little bit. We'll see. My range advantage is really coming in handy here. If I'd gotten one range down pill instead of seven range ups, I uh, probably would have a difficult time hitting him from 25% of the way across the map. Okay. This, this fight has actually gone surprisingly well. Uh, how I am dodging these shots is beyond me. I feel like he should be firing a lot more often, but for some reason he isn't. And uh, there we go. I, I knew I would take damage at some point, but that's totally fine. You, you can't make an omelet without getting a few of your eggs cracked. Back it up and around and to the side. Welcome to the Isaac Pride. Oh, okay, okay. We got to the third phase. This is still not a shoe in. This would be a shoe in. My foot. That doesn't really make sense. This would be an in shoe. -in. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, that had to happen at some point. I'm gonna drop like a, a ton of bombs in here. Take out a, a staggering number of angel fetuses. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You'll never work in this town again. Okay, we're gonna have three spirit hearts or two on the next floor. That's not enough to beat Blue Baby, but maybe with the items in here, it is. Uh, sacrificial Dagger. I had a heart attack for a second thinking that was Mom's Knife. Remember, we have no rerolls, so Lucky Foot gives us only good pills. Sacrificial Dagger, Welcome Defense, Bob's Curse, Poison Bombs, and more of them, and Celtic Cross, a little bit extra invincibility. Sure, that's, you know, I'm not gonna sneeze at that. It's actually pretty important. Uh, What's not very important is fighting these guys without uh, 
good recourse. If there was, thank you. Uh, did they both eat that? Because if so, that's great. Um, but if there was a curse room up here, I would be thrilled about the, the prospect of that. There is not, though. Yes, you come and attack. That, fair enough. It actually did hit both of them, so I'm okay with this. Uh, and I know I'm using a lot of bombs to make this happen, but it's better than the alternative. There's only one of them left, so maybe I don't have to invest as much effort. Because pretty soon, he's just going to start moving diagonally anyway. Yep, and it, it was an inevitability. And he's kind of trapped in his own little uh, corridor here. Which is great news for me, except when he gets free, in which case it's incredibly harrowing news for everybody. Alright, dude. Sure. Just to hang out up there in your own little corner of the world, Yola Tango style. Uh, what do we got here? White feather. That's pretty bad. So, we make our way across here. I know your tricks bloat. I know that step one is always uh, fire a laser if you're in range. And three out of four times you're going to be in range. We still can't fly. It's amazing what we've done. It, oh, well, maybe I don't know your tricks. It hasn't been like a, a run where I've been in incredible pain the whole time. We've, we've had decent advantages, but that being said, it's amazing what we've done with relative little. Relatively little, I guess I should say. Um, we don't have the ability to fly. We don't have crazy good damage. We've gotten very lucky with respect to our health payout so far. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do it. Um, We've gotten very lucky with respect to our health payouts, which almost never happens as Blue Baby. This has been a fun Blue Baby run. And those, you know, Blue Baby is very feast or famine. You either have a good time or you hate yourself. I've, I've had a good time. Uh, but, are we going to pull this one out? It's going to be uh, a tall order, to say the least. Now, if this is not the boss room, which it isn't, we can just leave, which is nice. And uh, we'll see if this is the boss room. It's not. It's not a curse room either. So instead, we're going to come over this way, and wow, fighting Gertie is way better than fighting two monsters. You know what, we should drop some bombs in here, but I'm just going to wait till I have a good opportunity to transition over to the side, which I do, and we'll put this one down. Back this way, Gertie's going to be done, probably before she shoots again. Oh, very close. Um, I almost got hit there. That extra key is not super valuable. So double Super Wrath is a little scary. I should have the speed necessary to get away, and their bombs, if they explode on them, should be uh, poison bombs. They seem to be poison. They they have the, the green explosion, which in the parlance of video games always means poison. Okay. Poison or healing. You know, it's a complicated world we live in. Those bombs are scary. They exploded at the same time, which is very lucky for me. If they exploded at different times, it's possible I could have been uh, caught in some kind of weird, like, the core-style explosion where one of them propelled the other one into me. Now, stay or stay alert and stay safe here. We could be one room away from the boss room. And if we are, I have a weirdly okay chance of possibly winning, although it's pretty unlikely. Uh, if we're five rooms away from the boss room, which we are, then it's a little bit more of a tall order. Remote detonator is an interesting choice. If I was going to use it, what I would do is um, take it with me, but then use Book of Belial. Get rid of Book of Belial because it's already got a charge save. Use Remote Detonator to take out the rooms that we're going to come across, and then use uh, Book of Belial for the boss room, because it, it's going to be substantially better for the boss room than Remote Detonator would be. Okay, that's good. Don't disappear, don't disappear. Good, good, good. You're poisoned and you're dead. All right. This is... Oh, Skinny God Mushroom is a, a blessing and a curse. <laughs> a blessing? Oh, no, that sucks. A blessing for some obvious reasons. It, it helps us fire more quickly. A curse for some obvious reasons. It helps Blue Baby fire more quickly. Super Lust is a goddamn menace here. Are you seeing this? Thank God that is dead. I'm still... I, that was actually the Nietzsche quote, by the way, that people got... Uh, they just misheard him. It was not, uh, God is dead. It was, thank God that's dead. And he was talking about, like, a cockroach. A German cockroach, of course. Um, so... We're gonna kill Greed last because I'm dumb. If possible, I would actually love to kill Wrath last. Instead, uh, if possible, I would have loved to have killed Super Lust last, but that was not happening. We get an extra couple of bombs. Do we have any chance? We have a very mild, uh, chance to win here. I'm gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Uh, what's really pissed off about this is that if I'd known that we would just come back to life with this amount of health, uh, I guess the Eternal Heart just doesn't count for us yet. Then I totally would not have used Book of Belial yet, but I think we'd still have a better chance of winning on our zero with life without using Book of Belial than we would if we tried to get a charge. And I don't even know if we can actually get a charge. A lot of those rooms that we looked at uh, just had a staggering number of, um, you know, blue spikes in them. So we're gonna we're gonna drop a lot of bombs in, involved in this one. 
Uh, we're fucked. We're gonna, we're gonna die. Sacrificial Dagger could help us out a little bit. Um, I don't know if we can get hit one more time. I'm pretty sure if I get hit one more time, we'll just die. But uh, we're gonna try our drive-by bomb strategy. Travel by bombs. It's actually working out kind of okay. Just, I'm sure this is just to get my hopes up so that soon it can uh, take it all away. But as, yep, yeah, there we go. If only that Eternal Heart had actually lived and given me so <laughs> Come on. <laughs> all right, game, I get it. You're stronger than I am. You're bigger on the food chain, I get it. You don't need to rub it in. Oh, there's our second hit, so one more hit and we die. We actually did have a decent chance. I really thought that Eternal Heart would actually just be extra health, but whatever. We had fun. That was a good run, and uh, I love playing as Blue Baby when things go my way, but when they don't, I hate it. That time was okay. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to click the like button, and if you didn't, well, I'm, uh, I apologize for that. You did watch like 50 minutes of it, so at least we have that. How's it going? I feel like we know each other a little bit better. Subscribe if you want to see more Isaac every single day, and of course, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.